Um, hi, Cancer. Uh, this is going to be your general singles love reading for May 2021. Uh, these are the Cancers that are currently not dealing with anyone that's looking for new love. So we're going to take a look at what your current over energies are uh, regarding love for the month of May. And then we'll see what, um, what are the current blockages and challenges that you're facing uh, in finding new love. And then we'll finish off the read with if there's anyone new coming towards your way. Let's see what they're like, their overall energies. Um, so before we get started, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get up-to-date content that's being uploaded onto my channel. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video so that this message can circulate around to so the individuals that need to hear this. Um, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonated with you. And those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, Cancer, so let's get started here. Over energies for singles Cancer regarding love for May 2021. What does Cancer need to know? What can Cancer expect for May 2021? Overall, overall energies for singles Cancer here regarding love. We have the Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck here, so I'm feeling like you're thinking about a past energy. Let's take a look. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Uh, Sagittarius, Pisces energy, the Three of Wands. It seems like you're yearning for someone in the past here. Yeah, Five of Cups. We have the Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, the Two of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands. So this Queen of Wands could be you or someone else. Might be yearning for a fire sign here, or you have fire sign in your chart. Um, so I feel like you're yearning for an ex. You might be regretting something that you did here and you wanna apologize. But I feel like there's this like insecurity that you're um, you're insecure that whether this person will give you a chance. All right, let's get some more messages here for you, uh, singles, Cancer. Queen of Cups. Okay, there you are. So I'm feeling like this queen, this queen is you. This Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups. Tell me about the Three of Wands. All right, we have the Two of Cups here. So you're yearning for a connection here, a past connection. I feel like you're missing someone here. Perhaps missing this King of Wands. This is a counterpart here. Um, so, all right, let's see. Tell me about this Five of Cups. You have the Knight of Wands here. I feel like there's this energy of wanting to rush forward towards this individual. Perhaps you were disappointed in someone. Maybe this person was non-committal. Or you, you could have been non-committal, uh, Cancer. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Two of Swords. So we have... The Two of Swords here, Two of Pentacles. So you're still in this stage of decide in Two of Cups, deciding whether to come forward or not. But I feel like you're missing someone. Tell me about this Two of Pentacles. I know this is for new love. But yeah, this is this is what's coming up. So I have to read it that way. Um, so sorry for those cancers that are seeking new love here. 
but we'll see. We have, we'll have, we have two more spreads, so we'll see if anyone new comes in. But it seems like there is a past person that you're thinking about here. I feel like you want to work towards a commitment here with someone. Because you have an eight of pentacles and a two of pentacles, so two plus eight equals ten. All right, tell me about the queen of wands. You have the magician here. So I feel like you're manifesting a past person. Yeah, you're missing someone with this with the sun card here. <laughs> so we'll see we'll see if there's anyone new coming towards your way, but um, you know, even if someone new came towards your way, those are you that are entertaining a past <laughs> person. There's probably this energy of wanting to go back. Not necessarily. Some of you might be thinking about it, but some of you might not act on it. I mean, we all have free will. Um, Wheel of Fortune being clarified by the Queen of Cups. Three of Wands being clarified by the Two of Cups. Five of Cups being clarified by the Knight of Wands. Page of Cups being clarified by the Two of Swords. Two of Pentacles being clarified by the Eight of Pentacles. Queen of Wands being clarified by the Magician. All right, let's see what else is going on here. Uh, singles Cancer. Um, tell me more about Singles Cancer. What are their, uh, the current challenges they're facing? What are some of their blockages in finding new love? I really feel it was like it has to do with holding on to a past <coughs> person here. But let's see. So we have the Three of Wands, we have the World, and we have the Devil. So I'm feeling like someone here, I feel like you might be attached to someone or someone might be attached to you, uh, but there is a sense of not releasing someone or letting someone go because I feel like you're yearning for someone. This person might be at a distance from you. Um, we have the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So you're waiting for communication from this person here. You have the Strength card, Leo Energy. So whatever magnetic and energetic tie that you have this, with this person, it's really strong. I, I So Cancer, I feel like you might have some trouble releasing this individual or having a hard time. Even though you might be, you know, seeking out new love, uh, this person might be on your minds, like, all the time. Uh, we have the Knight of Wands again. And then we have the Five of Cups. <sighs> so... I'm not sure if you did something here, but I'm feeling like you're rushing in to apologize to someone. Just take it as it resonates. I mean, the roles could be flipped or reverse here. Maybe someone wants me to apologize to you. Um, all right, tell me about the three of wands here. Pentacles. I really feel like you're not letting someone go. I, I really feel like you're yearning for someone here, waiting for someone, waiting for um, um, uh, 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 
waiting for communication. Tell me about the world. Like I said, I feel like this person might be at a distance from you. And then you have the Knight of Cups. Yeah, it's like you're waiting for this person to come back around to take some sort of action. Or you might want to take action towards someone. Because, you know, with the world, I feel like that world card should be in the reverse. Uh, which means, you know, uh, you know, something not completed or, you know, um, uh, unfinished business here. Tell me about the devil. Judgment. Yeah, so I, I'm feeling you want a second chance here with someone. Um, I So whoever this is, I mean, this person is really not showing up. It's I really feel like you're thinking, oh, yeah, sorry, this person did show up. It's under the deck, which is this King of Wands, which is the counterpart to the Queen of Wands here. Um, tell me about the Strength card. You have the King of Swords, okay. So there, there's this person here. Ooh. Can this person be a toxic individual? Yeah, I feel like they could be. Yeah. Could this be a toxic connection? Yeah, it could be too. I'm feeling like there's like hopes that, you know, maybe the second time around the dynamics would change. Uh, personally, uh, from my personal experience, no, it doesn't work that way. Yeah. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. You just be wasting your time here. Seven of Cups. You're just setting, you're just setting yourself up to get hurt again. Tell me about the Five of Cups. And the High Priestess, Cancer Pisces energy. I don't know. I feel like there is this energy of trying to maybe, you know, give this a second chance. And also to seek some sort of closure here too, to a, um, like a painful ending. So this person could have betrayed you. This person could have been a very toxic individual. It could have been a very, very toxic situation, but I'm feeling that there's a, there's a, there's this uh, energy of missing this person. Um, you know, I, I could understand because like, you know, cancer is sort of like where their cancer people could wear their heart on their sleeve once they, you know, fall for someone. So, um, you know, those emotions are very strong and, you know, um, cancer has like a real, like, Cancer individuals have a very high threshold where they keep trying and trying and trying and trying and trying and trying, and trying until they could no longer try anymore. Um, so I, I mean, I, I can relate because I, I, I have a cancer rising in my chart, but um, I'm an Aries, Sun, Mercury, and Venus. So when it comes to love, it could be very black and white for me. Uh, you know, either it's all in or I'm, you know, I'm out sort of thing. So, yeah. Yeah, and I could, I, I feel like with my Aries, um, Venus, I, I tend to move on pretty quickly too. Yeah, Cancer, if you're dealing with something like this, if you're considering this, uh, you know, try to, I know it might be hard, but try and refrain from doing it because you're really setting yourself up to get hurt. You don't want to get hurt again because once a cancer gets hurt, I mean, I mean, they really, really hurt. I mean, so, and, and I could empathize and sympathize with that too. So, uh, we have the four of, cause I'm very sensitive too. Um, and that's not a bad thing, uh, I feel, uh, so. We have four of pentacles, clarifying the three of wands, the world being clarified by the knight of cups. Okay, we have the judgment card, clarifying the devil, strength being clarified by the king of swords. We have the knight of wands being clarified by the seven of cups, the five of cups being clarified by the high priestess. So this person could have confused you in the past. Um, I, do, I do feel like this person might do that again. I feel like this person hasn't really changed. I feel like intuitively, intuitively you know that this person will disappoint you again. Uh, with this five of uh, cups and this uh, high priestess here. All right, let's see. 
tell me more about um, singles cancers. Is there anyone new coming towards singles cancer? What are their over energies? What does singles cancer need to know about this new person for May 2021? Pentacles here again. All right, we have the Ten of Swords. You have the Ten of Swords right there. Seven of Wands. Ace of Swords. Six of Swords. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, and the Two of Wands. So, you know, I'm, I'm feeling like yeah, I'm feeling like there there's this energy of holding on and, you know, sort of like being stuck or just thinking about the person constantly. So this person is constantly on your mind, I'm feeling. Um, yeah, this is not a new person. I feel like you're still trying to sort of recover from this um, terrible ending here. Um, I do feel like someone here... Um, this king might come in to apologize to you, but then you might be caught in a rock in a hard place because you know that this person can hurt you again, but at the same time, you want a, another chance with this individual here. Um, so tell me about this Ten of Swords. Tell me about this Ten of Swords here. What's going on with this Ten of Swords? Tell me about this Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords and I have like an itch in my ear. All right, Ten of Swords, Ace of Wands. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Five of Swords. I do feel like if you're not going, so, you know, Cancer, I feel like you might do this. You might try and go back to someone. But if someone's coming, if this person, this past person is coming back to you, I feel like this person's going to play a bit of mind games here with you, trying to pull you back in. Tell me about this Five of Swords. I feel like you're going to push it away, though. I feel like you're being smart about it. Trust in your intuition. The Hangman, Pisces Energy. Tell me about the Six of Swords. You have the Death card. Yeah, someone's coming back around to you but they're not changed, like I said before, because uh, I'm not seeing, I'm not really seeing any change with this, uh, change with this individual. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. You have the Four of Swords here. Tell me about the Two of Wands. And the Star, Aquarius Energy. Yeah, this person's gonna, yeah, this, mm, um, yeah, I would, I would I would leave this alone, Cancer, if you're entertaining this. Yeah, and if you're not entertaining this, you know, if this person does come around to you, you know, you might have a little bit of a soft spot for them, but I feel like you might be prepared for them. Um, Ace of Wands, Ten of Swords, because I know that you know with this Ace of Wands that this person might do this again. Yeah, I feel like you're pushing the mind games away. I feel like you're being really smart about it. Um... We have the Ace of Swords being clarified by the Hangman, Six of Swords being clarified by the Death card. Yeah, I just feel like this person really hasn't really taken that time to make those changes. You have the Page of Pentacles being clarified by the Four of Swords and the Two of Wands being clarified by the Star card. I feel like once this person comes in to apologize, I, might, I feel like they might come in with a mask on, show that they might have changed, they might be calmer, they might be more peaceful, but I feel like you're just going to choose your peace here. Yeah. So, Cancer, this is your singles love reading uh, for May 2021. If this resonated, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.